All right, so what I've got here is two different pieces of cloth, and I made a little dot network, all nice handcrafted dot network. Everything seems normal. Everything's working. The only problem I'm running into is this uh, purple piece has a drag of a thousand, and the yellow one has a drag of three, and they're both hitting the ground at the same time, which definitely isn't correct. And no matter what values I put in for drag, they're just going to keep doing this. And the reason for that is there is no error in the solver by default. So you have to manually put in a, uh, a pop wind and set the error resistance. I think default is 0.1 and plug that in right there into the particle forces. And so now when I run the solve, the drag now works as expected. And you won't run into this problem if you use the uh, the built-in solver, this one here, because uh, this one actually has that pop wind is built into it. Uh, where is it? There it is right here. So air resistance at 0.1. So that's just a little thing that can get you. And it is always good to put wind or put drag into your simulations. Otherwise, they can tend to look uh, kind of rubbery. They're basically simulating like they're in outer space and there's no air. So you're not going to get a natural look uh, without drag. And the other thing is in Vellum, uh, there's a difference between normal drag and tangent drag. Normal drag, you can think of it if you have a sheet of paper, the force facing the surface of the paper is the normal and tangent goes like slicing across it. And so you want your tangent drag to be practically zero, uh, much lower than your normal drag, obviously. Otherwise, you're going to get some pretty strange results. Uh, so that's drag. Okay, so another question you might have is where is the friction? Uh, say you want to have friction per object. So in this case, uh, between these two boxes. In the Vellum Solver, you can set the friction for the collision geometry, but you want to have it specific to an individual cloth object. You'll find that there is no friction setting in the Vellum constraints. I'm not sure why it seems like there should be friction in here, uh, but what you can do is you can just create an attribute. So in this case, uh, I have a couple point wrangles here and a friction and dynamic friction set in these point wrangles. And something to keep in mind is that friction is a multiplier, so it multiplies the friction between two objects. So if the friction on the collision geometry is zero, then these will have no effect because they're multiplying against zero and they'll just both slide right off. And so you might be wondering, well, how do you know which, like what, what is making these particular attributes work? Uh, Vellum is looking for specific attribute names. And uh, the only way to find what attributes it's looking for is to check the documentation. Um, so in this case, we search for friction. Uh, here it is here. Here's the note that, you know, they're multipliers. So this is actually all the, all the different stuff that Vellum is looking for, specific attribute names. And that does make Houdini very flexible. So in this case, like these Vellum constraint nodes, all they're doing is applying attributes. You can see them right here. Uh, these are the, the Vellum constraints. These are the springs that hold the geometry together. And all they are is just simple attributes. There's nothing, uh, nothing special about them. Uh, if we go to the Vellum geometry, you can see one of the attributes is mass. You can change the mass in here. Uh, oh, I've set to varying density, but I mean, you can just override that by just making another point wrangle, put it in there, uh, float mass equals zero. And now that green box, uh, is just going to float because it has no mass. So it's kind of, kind of a cool, flexible, uh, powerful thing, but it also can be a little bit confusing because if the attribute isn't in this GUI, it's a little weird to have to manually, you know, be adding attributes, but uh, that's just Houdini for you, I guess.